Hi everybody, Robert here with more of our Rivet Training. Today in this exercise, we're going to look at OmniClass or Master Format that's built into Rivet. Um, this is done in the U.S. and in the U.K. Not sure if, what they use in the U.K., but I know when I was in Australia, we use uh, the Master Format, Uniformat in the uh, U.S. Okay, so now what, what, what we do here is we have our cut sheet of our Tailspire channel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate this view. And I'm going to double click and enter this family, which is pretty good by Jeff. Okay, now the thing here is if we go into our family categories and parameters, we'll see that this is a place listed as generic model. And then if we scroll down below, you'll see the Omni class is grayed out. Now we can place a number here if we want, but the reason why it's grayed out is because it's sitting in a generic model category, which would not give us that option. So what we would do for this guy, we would change this category to something compatible, which would probably be, I would say structural framing. So we change this category to structure framing, and then if we scroll down, we'll see here the Omni class number is not grayed out any longer. So I can hit this little builder block, and it'll give me the different categories that I have available. Now, before we do that, I'm going to just go back and give you a look at how and where this comes from. So I'm going to leave that there, and then I'm going to go into my C drive, so what it is, it's, it's, it's on your C drive, program data, Autodesk, the version of Autodesk, libraries, and then Imperial. So when I scroll down here, this is Uniformat, and if I double click this, you have a TXT file. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just double click that again. Let's open this file up. Okay, now this is a TXT file with all of the classifications, unit format classifications here, which is built into my project now. Now you can insert others, but this is what's used in the US. Now UK guys, I'm not sure what they use there. If you have one, because I got your classification codes basically confused with this. Because in the US, this is what they use. So I'm gonna shut that down. And I'm going to minimize this. So I'll go back here now. Omni class number and title. So I can expand this. And I can expand this one. See, this is pretty good here. I don't want to take this too deep. Because I don't know for sure. But I'm going to just say structural frames. And I'm going to say OK. And there's my Omni class number in there. And then I'll say OK again. And then I'm going to load this back into my project. And I'm going to overwrite this. Let Rivet do its thing thinking. And, and then. Uh, we're going to schedule this into our schedule that we had the existing schedule, but we'll see when this finally opens up what happens here. Um, geez. Sorry about this, folks. This file must be really big. I think all of that, uh, those holes and things of that nature make that happen. Maybe I'll pause this. No, I can see it's about a third of the way there. I mean, just changing the classification and adding Omni class number shouldn't take this long. So I maybe I'll pause this here. But we can go back. No, just let it roll. I got a coffee here with me, so shouldn't be that bad. Jeez, didn't take this long the last time. It's 
So it's really got to think about this. I don't know why. I think maybe I should have used a smaller version because those whole thingies was really slowing us down. So what I'll do in this time while we're waiting on this guy, let's go back and look here. See, we've got, I've got keynotes here, text, and, and, and then uniform and class text, and we've got 2010. I'm going to go back and just see what will happen if we look at um, U.S. metric. Is there any difference here? Uh, it's probably the same. Let me see. It looks to be the same. So, And I know U.K. would be metric, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, now our model is open, and the way we can see here is we've lost the schedule. And the reason why, I don't know if anybody can guess, but I'll just grab, grab this guy. And this is a generic model schedule, so we've got to go into our view. And then we'll have to create a, another schedule. And this one, we'll have to go under the category of all the way down to structural framing. And here, let's go with, hopefully we can pull a lot of stuff over. Let's go with type. And our type. We'll get our size. Uh, we'll get, um, I'm not sure if we can get our load, but I'm going to just try this. That might have to change. And then we'll go with our weight. We might get lucky here. And then we'll go and grab our Omniclass number field. And hit OK. And... We've got them in, but we've got to go back and do our load calculations. But I'm going to leave it there because this is just a brief little example of what I wanted to show here. So let's get this guy out of here. And then we can just drag and drop our new schedule here. And that will be structural framing schedule. These are for the UK guys. They want that in along with their classification code. I probably should have used one of their models because it's metric. But this is how you add your Omni class number into your schedule and change the family over. So let me try something here right quick. May have to make a, um, let's see if I can go to these fields. Mm. She manufactured weight from the title. But anyway, we knock this out of here. Let's just see what happened with our weight. So we've got to recalculate our weight. So guys, that's basically how we did this. So Oh, we need to add our manufacturer. And say OK. So there we go. And I'm going to figure the weight out later. But hey, I've got a, 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 a an example of how you do weight. So that's it. So that's how we work with Army class numbers. Now I'm going to show you another thing quickly here. So now to find the location, and if I want to change this, so I'll go into the Manage tab under Additional Settings, and all the one on the bottom is Assembly Code, and this gives you the location. So as you can remember, we were in C Program Data, Libraries, Imperial, Uniform, and Classification.txt. So guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and any comments or questions, put them in the comments section. Talk to you later. Bye.